Hello and welcome to Tomahawk Talk News. The Inktown High School track and field teams have had another successful year of preparing to complete, uh, uh, compete at the state level in Shippensburg, PA. We're here with Sarah Wozniak, who qualifies in shot put and coaches line and coffee. Sarah, congratulations on placing for state. How long have you competed in track and what other sports do you play? Um, I've done track for three years, um, not sophomore year, and they probably this year you broke the school's shot put record and then continued to break it again and again. Tell us what setting this record has meant to you. Um, that was a goal of mine since the beginning of the season. So to achieve that, it's really, really great. So. What are one or two things that you do in training that contributes to your success? Um, I get a lot of reps in at practice. <laughs> so um, we keep doing it over and over again. It's like you can't get it wrong. And I'm also lifted at Coach Lyons gym. What words of advice can you share for younger younger athletes? Um, they have to love what they do. If they don't love it, it's not you're not gonna get any better and you're not gonna have good time. So. Do you have any future hands of play or ahead of you? Um, we go to St. Vincent College to play volleyball. Not sure about track yet, but and coaches. What are some of the pre preparations that took place in the team's training? Coach, I will tell you about it. Well, Sarah came to me as a ninth grader, um, weight training for volleyball, and actually she trained consistently for four years, and she's paying off for her right now with her shot put. Right. Can you speak to the determination and drive that Sarah has demonstrated in her sporting endeavors? I'll take that one. <laughs> no, I think Sarah is great. Uh, she's a great role model for anybody out there that's looking to really pursue what they want to pursue. Sarah, she said, set goals, and those goals were reached, um, but they weren't just reached by her saying she was going to reach them. She really worked hard, put in the time, put in the effort all around, and contribute to her and what she has become. What was your guys' reaction when Sarah broke the record and managed to qualify for states? School record, she broke it numerous times. You just, you can tell when she puts one out there, you measure it. Conversation and like this one, man. <laughs> Go from where? Yeah, I, I think, like I said, I mean, Sarah, Sarah's one of those girls and athletes in general that wants to keep getting better. It's not just she's satisfied with where she's at, and that's only going to help her later on in life because she's never going to be satisfied wherever she is, and she just keeps pushing herself even more. And more. So, it's a tribute to her, and again, anybody that's interested in track and field, not just track and field, but volleyball, anything, you know, her work with Mr. Lai in the offseason really helped change everything that she did and just her determination throughout the season and whatnot has allowed her to reach her goal. Thank you guys for taking down with us today. Coming up next on Tom and Hawk Talk, we'll be sitting down with Josiah Davis, who will also be competing in states. Joining us today to answer a few questions is Josiah Davis, who will be competing at states in triple jump. Was it difficult to manage playing both soccer and football this year? Uh, it wasn't It wasn't too bad. Both coaches were very cooperative. Um, I was dedicated to both sport. Um, definitely made it happen, got the practice in I needed. What was your reaction to placing second at Lips? Uh, it was definitely an honor. Um, I've been working hard towards that goal. I've always wanted to go to States. Um, place second was definitely something I'll always remember. It would been nice to get first, but second's all right. How excited and confident do you feel about competing against other PIAA competitors? Uh, like I said, it's a really big honor. Um, I'm really excited for the competition. Nice to see new uh, competitors and new people from different places. Um, it's going to be tough, though. It's definitely going to be tough. You decided to play football at Slippery Rock University in the fall. What will you be majoring in, and what was the deciding factor in your selection of sport and school? Um, I am going to be majoring in criminology. Um, I was planning on going for athletic training, but kind of decided away from that, so kind of fell on criminology. Um, I've always wanted to play soccer in college, but I guess football worked out first, so we're going to go with it and see what happens. 